Valentine Lowe, a royal author and correspondent, claims Prince Harry's former aide that dealing with the Duke and Duchess of Sussex was like dealing with teenagers. According to the author of Courtiers, the hidden power behind the crown, Samantha Cohen, a highly regarded courtier, was treated harshly by Harry and Meghan before they left the royal family and migrated to Montecito. The author also revealed some behind-the-scenes details about the mounting tensions at Kensington Palace prior to Harry and Meghan's wedding in 2018. He also claimed Meghan made crushing remarks to a royal assistant in charge of organizing media coverage of the wedding, saying, listen, if there is anybody else I can get to do this, I would. Samantha was well-liked in the royal household, having previously worked for the Queen before joining Harry's group. Her professional relationship with Prince Harry was friendly when she first started, according to Lowe. When she first started, Harry was familiar with her and liked her, and she liked Harry. Sam is an incredible problem solver, she has a can-do personality, and she just found it extremely challenging, he explained. She was asked to do things that a private secretary would not typically be required to do, and I believe she was mistreated. Megan yelled at her. He said that she remarked dealing with them was like dealing with a couple of teenagers. Lowe also detailed the Duchess's crushing word to one of her staff members and went into depth about what he believes transpired during the Tiara Gate saga. Problems started before the wedding regarding all kinds of things, he explained, mentioning the choir and the cuisine. The manner in which the royal household shared event details with the press was a recurring concern. To keep the media pleased, the palace would release details about the cake, the clothing, or whatever, he stated. He revealed that the Duchess was dissatisfied with the arrangement, and alternate plans were devised. Some poor woman had an alternate option, and Meghan was very dissatisfied with the alternative plan, he went on. Believe me, if there was anyone else I could get to do this, I would, the Duchess informed the aide. Lowe also claimed on the show that Harry's issues with his team stemmed from his desire to make his imprint before his shelf life expired. According to the author, the Duke was concerned that royals would lose relevance as they aged and moved down the line of succession, and he wanted to leave a lasting legacy before Prince George was 18 years old. Valentine's book Courtiers, The Hidden Power Behind the Crown details the Sussex's deteriorating relationship with their staff, a succession of decent people who believed in Meghan and would have done anything to help the marriage thrive. However, it claims that aides were convinced that Meghan's departure was planned and that one of her concerns was whether she would be able to make money for herself. She wanted to be rejected, since she was fascinated with that narrative from day one, one ex-staff member told the author. And her team reportedly stated of her on multiple occasions, we were played. The Duchess complained to HR executives, who listened politely but provided no assistance, the book claims. Staff members became convinced the Duchess wanted to demonstrate how the institution had failed her. This was inevitable, HR is there to deal with employee issues, not members of the royal family, the book says. Meghan would presumably have known that, so what was she doing there? Laying a trail of evidence, would be the cynical answer. A former staff member told Lowe, everyone knew that the institution would be judged by her happiness. The mistake they made was thinking that she wanted to be happy. Meghan emphasized the distinction between the Queen and those around her in her interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2021. She thought that these people shunned her in her time of need and spread falsehoods about her.